that's the deal. So on the one hand, they have this product placement all the way long, but they are so sincere. So I believe mm -hmm. if, uh, when we're making a content, if we are sincere, the more sincere we are, the more it compensates uh, this trend and sort of a stuff. And then we have this compromise between uh, like trending topics and keep being a human at the same time. So I think just being sincere is uh, nowadays most uh, requested thing because people have so many information coming into their minds and yeah. hearts. Very tired. Oh, as, um, really, yeah. as, uh, as, as the gangster rappers have been saying for 20, 30 years, keeping it real. Keep it real. Keep it real. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. and that's that's it's a cliche, but it's so true, isn't it? Absolutely, Gotta keep it real. Absolutely. And by the way, the, the popularity of this gangster rap arising from that it wasn't like from high society like no. pop stars. I almost said porn stars, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but it's not. It was from Brooklyn and from Compton in the streets, wasn't it? Yeah, but uh, with the gangster rappers, it's like from from the lower uh, social yeah. ranks. Yeah, yeah. And that's the way why they're so popular. Yeah, they didn't have gold jewelry at the start, did they? Uh, they didn't hear him again. Please. They didn't have all the jewelry and the, the big cars when they started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Uh, that came after. I know that DMX, DMX uh, was, uh, selling, uh, was selling hijacked cars. <laughs> Yesterday, I learned this new word. Hijacked. You hijacked. learned hijacked. Hijack cars. I learned this word yesterday from you, man. Brilliant. <laughs> so the next was so, on hijack cars. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's let's talk. Let's um, we're, we're probably n nearer to the end of the video now than the start. Let's talk about language and kind of let's. We, we you've talked so quite a bit about Korean. Um, let's just talk about a, a bit. Just round up with a bit of chat about English and a bit of chat about Russian and how how you want to help people learn english and yeah your thoughts on english and russian and just chat about english and russian in general uh yeah thanks for the question that's mm. something i'm definitely more interested to be talking about rather than this <laughs> interaction yeah. interaction yeah. yeah 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 i i don't know one cares about this but <laughs> no. we have fun that's enough <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, to, to tell us about how, I mean, how many million people speak Russian? Uh, so you know, uh, I used to say that uh, even though I speak Russian, it doesn't make that much sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And why is it good? I mean, I think it, I don't understand the Cyrillic alphabet, but I think that's a really good mental puzzle just to even be, try and under, le, teach myself that or learn that. I think uh, apart from any business or financial reward, just learning a language in general is, is just good. It, it stretches your brain, surely. Uh, okay, so if you want to talk about this from, from this perspective, yeah. uh, let, let, let's go from this perspective. So, uh, you know, like uh, the idea behind the language, behind the spoken language, is being able to interact with other human beings, right? Yeah. If you don't need to interact with other human beings, uh, learning languages on their own might not be making that much of a sense. It's like uh, uh, you, <laughs> I know four <laughs> words how to say this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one with J, one with W, one yeah. with e, and one yeah, I I know. with the letter. <laughs> okay, so it's like you're doing this to your own self. It doesn't yeah. make that much sense. Better, better to, to do this with. Uh, uh, with the other person, uh, and it would be better if uh, the other person's sex would be opposite to yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. But even if you just did it, if you were just in prison and you just learned another language, surely that uh, it's like doing a crossword or a Sudoku or even playing chess. It's just a, a mental puzzle. And I think learning a, a, a whole new alphabet, like the Cyrillic alphabet, even that, whether you're going to speak it to other people or not, just even uh, that is just really interesting. I, I really get your point. I, I understand. Mm. I understand why you call this a mental puzzle. So let, let's go for an example. For me, Korean was yeah. a mental puzzle. Okay, so yeah. Korean is very different from whatever is like. You know, like if we compare compare uh, Korean and Russian, or if we compare Korean and English, then I can yeah. say that Russian and English is the same language. Absolutely, right. yeah. there is no difference between them right. at all. 
if you can... it was Korean, a symbol or a character is a word, uh, isn't it? It's not a letter, it's a word. Is that right? It's uh, it's alphabet. In Korean, it's alphabet. It's called oh, okay. It's alphabet. Yeah. It's, they have consonants and vowels. Okay. Vowels. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, for me personally, it's a matter of uh, exploring a different mentality. Right. So for me, uh, the matter of language learning, it wasn't, it was never uh, an exercise for my brain. Uh, here is the deal. So when I, when I, when I wasn't a programmer and I had a job that I had it, hated with all my heart, the biggest issue wasn't the job itself. I didn't hate the job because the job, the job was bad. I hated the job because I needed to uh, get in paid uh, by the people surrounding me with this sort of a mentality I couldn't accept. That was the problem, right? So I was thinking that maybe if uh, I will start working with the people having a different mentality, it would help me to reveal my hidden talents, I don't know. And in that case, that would be a way more natural process of working actually, and mm -hmm. it worked. So when I started work, uh, when I started uh, getting paid from uh, Western clients, like English speaking clients, let's say, uh, those yeah. uh, sharing this, uh, let's say Western, like American like mentality, like in just very general, let's say American, yeah. it's not a matter of like British or American yeah, or, yeah. or European, but let's say like the Western uh, sort, of a, sort of a mentality, uh, suddenly uh, the puzzle uh, work, the kind of everything goes all together and it, and it suddenly works. So, uh, and I've realized that English is uh, the matter of, knowing English, the matter of talking in English is not the matter of uh, just using different words or different pronunciation or different patterns. It's just the matter. It, so English is a sort of an interface uh, of the Western mentality. It's just an yeah. interface. Uh, it's a spoken interface. I would it's say. like an API. Uh, it's like an API. Absolutely. It's just yeah. an API. And for me personally, the language on its own is not the goal. The mentality is the goal. Uh, the matter, okay. of, the matter of uh, researching and exploring the mentality. So mm. first, uh, I had an issue that I wanted to make money without being enslaved. Yeah. And the way, uh, the reason why I was enslaved uh, when I wasn't coding, like back in the day, it wasn't yeah. because of the job. The job was fine, but I was enslaved by this uh, judging people. I was enslaved by the thoughts. That like when when someone judges another, it might not say anything. It just may think he thinks like you're not like me. You're doing wrong, and this yeah. sort sort of a judging is really annoying. And I'm very sensitive. I, I, I was. But did did you feel self conscious? It... Uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I know the feeling. So yeah, that's yeah. We all know that feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no matter of mentality. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, and that was that was an issue. So. For me, English was the matter of uh, interacting with, uh, with a different mentality, a different culture, I would say. Yeah. And uh, when I started doing this, uh, it worked for me. But then I had another problem. So I would say that English in general is a language for business interaction. Not in terms of you obviously need to go for, interact for inappropriate business uh, interaction. <laughs> Not in this case. No. I mean, like, uh, English is very... Uh, precise and materialistic and it's incredibly good for tech. It doesn't mean that uh, you can have a good literature in English or mm. it doesn't mean that you can express your feelings uh, that great. Uh, just like any other language, it's absolutely brilliant to say literally whatever you want to say. But uh, let's say like uh, JavaScript is better for uh, writing uh, like for Automating the uh, like, you click a button, you call a JavaScript function. So for for this sort yep. of purposes, Python is better for uh, working with data. It just happens yep. so it's just fact, yep. right? Uh, and the same with the spoken languages. So English is just better for this business-like interaction, even if it's not about business. So it's very like talk to the point language. So language, uh, so English is a talk to to the point uh, language. Uh, let's say Russian is talk about nothing language. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very, very like, 
the opposite. Oh, you're putting me off. I wanted to. I wanted to learn it. Uh, yeah, didn't, 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 didn't. You're putting me off. I wanted to learn it. I wanted to learn Russian. Well, now you uh, put me off. <laughs> no, no, no. Do, uh, do brayutra. Uh, it's not about that. Uh, you know, like mm, it's about. Uh, it's not about the initial motivation. Uh, the initial motivation. Uh, it's like, let's say you want to learn to. Uh, you want to learn kung fu, Chinese martial arts, right? Yeah. Uh, let's say you 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 just got your ass kicked somewhere in the street and you say like yeah. okay now we'll learn kung fu and i i'll punish that uh okay mo folks right <laughs> mo folks, yeah. <laughs> mo folks, right? oh so learning english is this is a, a comparison a mental like a, a mental equivalent yeah so right uh, yeah that's what i'm talking about so mm. let's say in this case you're like okay i will go to china and find a chinese master and you go yeah. there and let's say it's incredibly hard, but let's say you've managed to do this. Yeah. And the master is telling you now you would be uh, uh, staying like this. Mm -hmm. Can you see me? Uh, yeah. Doesn't matter. You just a static posture for 10 years. Yeah. And you're like, will you teach me to fight one day? And he says like, mm -hmm. your mind is not calm. You need to calm down for yeah. 10 years. And then you yeah. say like, okay, hold on a sec. So I wanted to learn to fight and you're telling me to, st to sit still or to stay yeah. still. So what the heck is going on? And in this case, you have uh, two, different, uh, two different approaches. So you can drop this and go to the boxing gym, right? Yeah. Just go, it just works faster. Oh, you can uh, realize that fighting people uh, comes from your own internal tension. And the only reason yeah. why you get why you got your ass kicked is because you just live their own life. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So these are two different two, two completely different approaches. Exactly exactly the same works with the languages. So if you if your initial desire to learn language is similar to you wanna uh, learn learn how to fight, then yeah. you lose your motivation as long as you face a real difficulties, right? Yeah. Uh, but if you want, uh, if you don't want to learn how to fight, but you're ready and you're open-minded enough to acquire uh, whatever you might encounter during this process of learning this language, which is literally the matter of acquiring the mentality. It's not even the matter of yeah. acquiring the language, but the, but the mentality. The most thing that we're talking with my Korean teacher is about the uh, Korean mentality. Uh, in order to say you in Korean, uh, just yeah. like, like I say you, it's yep. uh, you need to apologize hundreds of times. You need to make sure that you, they that she won't get you wrong, okay? Mm. And you, you need to ask a permission in a very polite way, okay? Yep. Because otherwise it would almost like uh, like a swearing, okay? So okay. That's, the matter, that's the matter of mentality. And yep. when and on the other hand, uh, when she accepts this, it's like I don't know, you're the happiest man in the world because uh, this is something. Normal, normally it doesn't happen. And it's a big compliment. It's an amazing compliment. Just to give you an idea how big it is, uh, married couples in Korea are not always saying you to each other. Wow. Can you believe wow. this? Why? Because yeah. they're not close enough. No. It wow. Just... Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so what can uh, our viewers learn from this? Should we be... Would, would you like to think that we've made them curious about other languages and how it affects the way you think? Would you like that to happen, that other people who've watched this think, hey, I, I should uh, yeah, and check I some other languages? Uh, well, this is very personal, uh, mm. but, I, but I would say that if you can speak only one language, you don't know your own self at all. If no. you start talking two languages, in two languages, uh, you're kind of like extending yourself, but you still, yeah. like you is you. So, uh, I mean, like, even if you perfectly speak in Russian, just right the next moment, you will remain mm. Dr. Pai, exactly the yeah. same as you've been before. But if you know Russian and the third language, let's say Spanish, yeah. like you do, yeah. in that case, uh, and again, like, uh, the Western languages, like Russian, Spanish, you can learn Russian, Sp Spanish, and, like, 10 more languages, it doesn't change anything. I mean, there mm. should be one language, at least one second language from the West, and at yeah. least the second language from the East, so either Korean mm. or... Chinese or Japanese doesn't, doesn't matter. And in that case, when you compare them, so uh, when I speak one of these different languages, I feel like a completely different person. Yeah. And, and when you go in like to Russian, Russian speaking mode, Korean speaking mode, mode uh, or English speaking mode, 
like yeah. two different Kurd Makikins. I wouldn't even say the Kurd Makikin is only the guy who speaks in English. When I speak in no. Russian, I'm not, I'm not called Kurd Makikin anymore. No. Well, that's kind of it. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. So it's uh, more like if you want to discover your own nature. That's yeah. That's it's like people who learn music. If you learn to play a musical instrument, it's like a. <laughs> it's like, do you know the old games where it was like Tomb Raider and you run around to all these caves and you find all these new rooms and you bash a door down and then you go in and there's all these gold and all, the, all these monsters. It's like a role play game, you know, the role play games. Uh, well, I played Doom a lot in the past. Yeah, yeah. So it's I'll... like that, isn't it? And the more, the more tunnels you go down and the more times you branch off, you're going into different areas of your brain and it's like learning music. Every new yeah. language you learn, it's yeah, unlocking yeah, yeah. a new door in your brain. Like that. Yeah, something like that, but here is another trap. Uh, you might get lost there. Yeah, so if you're yeah. doing this, you need to remember the goal. So why do you play Doom, right? Yeah. So, why? Uh, why? There, why? 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 Yeah. So there are two yeah. main there are two main differences. Uh, the, the, sorry, there there are two main reasons to play Doom. So mm. the first reason is violence. You can't kill people outside, <laughs> so you kill yeah. monsters. You're crazy if you want this. Uh, yeah. The true, reason, the true uh, idea why to play Doom is to escape this hell. Uh, you remember it's called Doom, Hell on Earth. You yeah. remember the name. Mm. So the idea of in this entire game is to escape the hell on Earth. Yeah. If you think about it. And uh, I didn't think that it's possible to uh, complete the entire Doom, 32 levels mm. or something, uh, with no cheat codes. But it is right. possible. And I saw guys doing speed runs uh, yeah. For 18 minutes, entire yeah. room. And wow. I was so amazed by this. This is exactly what I'm trying to do in this life. So instead of yeah. uh, like trying to kill the monsters around, instead of trying yeah. to, you just better try to escape from here as soon as possible. That's what freedom means to me. Yeah. And um, it's, learning another language is kind of uh, gives you freedom from your own language. Yeah. Not only yeah. from your own language, but from your. From the yourself. from the from yourself you're, from what you think from you consider from what you yeah. consider to be yourself from what you, you blink uh, it, um, from what your parents from what yeah. your parents made you think that this is you yeah. tunnel it's, vision where you only see straight ahead yeah 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 like um we with horses they call it blinkers don't they where they put the things on the side of the horses so that the horses can't see anything there and they can't see anything yeah there. yeah yeah like like this like this yeah, yeah and that's the whole world we live in if you only if you only go on facebook or if you only watch to go on twitter and and uh, you know you, you learn a language where some other people would just watch football and they just go on twitter and they will only ever learn that so yeah and youtube is great because youtube there's so many things that I've learned and seen from YouTube and I, it, it's up to you. So it's personal choice whether you watch cats videos or naked lady dancing. <laughs> yeah, it's but if, <laughs> yeah, but if you if you just for once just try type in something different or if you follow someone who's inspirational, who's or someone who's slightly different to you because they're older or because they do a different job or because they're from a different country. And then that leads to something else. And then that leads to something else, because if I'd never learned wanted to learn python i wouldn't have followed code monkey and then if i hadn't followed code monkey i wouldn't know all these things you talk you talk about and i wouldn't know about korean language i wouldn't know about the russian and um and not just the languages it's like the thought processes so i wouldn't know how someone else thinks so by watching these blogs you can understand how other people think as well and that's really powerful absolutely, isn't it? absolutely. and that's that's the reason uh behind the sarcasm of my recent video, <laughs> so I said like uh, uh, Python programming, web scraping, uh, Korean, English, and now yeah. Chinese Qigun and uh, different <laughs> expressions of a single flow. And I'm I'm doing some forums in the forest. And the, this the sarcasm is that it's kind of like uh, doesn't matter how uh, how the flow is being expressed. Uh, it's all the matter how it flows within. Because yeah. whatever external physical activity we go for, uh, it always resonates kind of inside. So well, no matter what we do outside, uh, it does put some influence on our internal vibration. I don't know, on our internal 
being on how we feel ourselves internally and yeah, yeah that's that's kind of it. so i believe and everything everything we learn just again go back to the oil tanker analogy everything we 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 learn just changes our direction slightly doesn't it everything we watch everything we read if well, we want it to it helps yeah, us change yeah, so change direction it, for a good direction it definitely uh, it makes us start in, start thinking about this uh, yeah. whether to change the direction or not is uh, your personal choice but i would yeah. say like the old chinese wisdom right so the old chinese wisdom says that the outer activities so whatever you do in the outer world yeah. is intended to research your internal world and unfortunately yeah. in today's world it's totally the opposite they say like you need to take the most of your talent and serve mm -hmm. the uh, purposes of the outer world so this is what the slave yeah. is. what does it serve so if you take your uh life and put yeah. it to whatever company let's say yeah yeah and the company grows but you're dying did that yeah. did that have sense i don't think so it's but, like you're going through a funnel you're, you're big and then you have to go through a funnel and it makes you small yeah absolutely mm. Yeah. But on the other hand, if we have like, uh, if we have like, uh, I'm doing some, I'm trying some stuff, right? There is a nice yeah. GitHub, uh, GitHub username, trying some stuff. It's great yeah. and also chess engine. <laughs> trying yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and so if you're trying some stuff, in that case, uh, well, our internal being is very complicated. And yeah. let's say we can work out one part by dancing, another part by singing, another part by coding, right? Another yeah. part by making videos, whatever. So whatever, yeah. dif like different, acti uh, different uh, external activities uh, yeah. allows us to work out a certain space in our internal being. And yeah. the more uh, consciousness we put into our internal being, uh, the more clear our mind is, for otherwise we're just getting brainwashed. Yeah. That's kind of it. Yeah. Yeah. I said that is, there's always the balance between exploring many different things that we want to explore, and we have to balance that against the need sometimes to have specialist knowledge, in which is. In machine, we, learning, in machine learning, this is called exploration versus exploitation algorithm. Brilliant. Uh, that's, yeah. that's amazing. Uh, yeah. There, uh, there is uh, a tree, uh, there, there is a search algorithm, uh, algorithm yeah. called uh, Monte Carlo Tree Search. It's yeah. very interesting. Uh, I, well, I, I can't ex describe this technically in that great detail, but just to give a, a very brief conceptual uh, yeah. uh, description, because this is very important. This is exactly what we've been talking about. So the idea yeah. is that we're not, so, uh, we, have, uh, we have a search tree. And yeah. We have one node, two nodes, and then more, 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 and then the yeah. fourth. So the idea is that uh, the life is not enough to explore all of the work, uh, all of the nodes. So no. we need ch to choose some sort of a nodes, right? Yeah. And here, we all uh, here uh, this Monte Carlo, Car Monte Carlo research algorithm is the matter of a trade-off between uh, walking through the certain path, like from this node, then here, here. So the known path, yeah. uh, when you walk through the known path, it gives you stability, and yeah. the evaluation would be stable. This is the pure search term, so you will yeah. have stable evaluation. However, yeah. you might be uh, missing some bigger opportunity. Yeah. So in that case, in order to not to miss the bigger opportunity, you need to go for a bit of an exploration. But at yeah. the same time, you also need to keep exploiting that some sort of certain path you all, you've already discovered. Because yeah. to pay yeah. your bills, uh, you need to I don't know give money to your wife, things like this. Yeah. So uh, that that's so we need to make uh, this. It's always a trade-off. So they call yeah. it exploration versus exploitation. So that's that's kind of there's so many analogies between code and life yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. i don't know which mimics which really bit of both maybe but um yeah i think well i i think probably we've got so much more material to cover as well in the future I wanna, uh, next time i want to talk more about your chess engines and how that go into that world a bit as well but um just to kind of um you know, I don't know if in in Russia or wherever or whatever TV you watch, they have like at the end of the news, they always say like a 
a funny bit or a happy bit or a really like light-hearted bit or whatever no uh, uh at the end of the so, tv news yeah so at the end of the news i, I try not to watch the news because it, i just find it so depressing but when i used to watch the news on tv they'd say oh no there's been a war and there's been an explosion oh, oh. yeah and then they'd say oh yeah. but despite all that serious stuff um there's a picture of a kitten <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, to, yeah. so not quite the same because we haven't been talking about explosions and war. We've been talking about really kind of cool, positive stuff, haven't we? But um, just kind of as a light-hearted thing, as kind of unexpected, because you will not be expecting what I'm about to put in front of the webcam. But uh, yeah, you know, like, uh, I actually don't watch TV at all for I don't know no. since forty years, apparently. <laughs> Are you looking? Can you see my screen though? Uh, no, I, I can. Uh, oh, oh man! Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just I just can't see your screen because you're you know. Do we still I remember? Do we, do we still recording? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm uh, sorry because yeah, we just have. Uh, have okay. Uh, I will sh I will show you this next time when you are looking at the screen. But okay. uh, what I've got here in my hand is um, a cassette tape with uh, ZX Spectrum chess. Oh. 1K chess, yeah, that, that's 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 brilliant. Yeah, yeah. it's um, written by Scion and software by Scion, 48K RAM, and yeah. uh, 1982. Yeah, there, there was there was an article in some magazine uh, providing the source code in assembly for <laughs> for that. Uh, Z, Z, how many, do, you, do you know how many lines that was? Uh, uh, what? How many lines? How many lines of code was how that? Lines of code. Well. It's, uh, well, I can't say like uh, how many lines of code. I, I, I saw that visually. It's kind of like uh, like big magazine pages, like a couple of them. Yeah. Okay. It, it, Probably it was, maybe thousands. It, it was very it was very tight. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> you're limited uh, with the memory, and that affects the design. Yeah, but I think yeah. that uh, we shouldn't be talking about chess engine in this video because it's going to be too overwhelming. Yeah, absolutely. So I, th I think this is quite a good point uh, to just kind of uh, wrap up what we've discussed. Yeah, and, I think, um, yeah, I, I think uh, hopefully everybody's got, yeah. there'll be something of interest for everybody in this, really. Whether you're interested yeah. in web scraping, whether you're interested in languages, and uh, or whether you're interested in human beings, because that's what we are, and that's absolutely. kind of the other I aspect think, of I think, think we just need to, I think we just need to add some timestamps to the video. So. Sure. Yeah, they'll be down here for everybody. And if you want to skip the bit about VS Code, or if you want to skip the bit about uh, cool patterns, then well, that's up to you. I would recommend watching all of it, though, wouldn't you? Uh, you know, like uh, <laughs> in, in order to answer this question, uh, I'll tell you a little story. So another yeah. couple of hours of interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, when I've been watching your Y video yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I was kind of like, okay, Dr. Pi, you need to add the timestamps. And I, I opened no. the commentaries and I wrote that. I put yeah. that uh, on the, the commentary, like, uh, you should add the timestamps. And yeah. that's uh, the time when I've watched the entire video, I've erased that line completely. Yes. You know yeah. why? Because I right. understood that uh, even though you said, like, you can skip the video, you can, like, yeah. fast forward to the most essential part. Yeah. This entire video is the most essential part. You can skip it. If you don't yeah. watch the entire video, it doesn't make any sense. But for this video, I think that uh, it's pretty modular. Like yeah, anything, yeah, I think so. Like anything I do. <laughs> so, I think yeah, I think this can we can break this up into chapters. Whereas yeah. exactly with that Y video, I deliberately didn't put timestamps because it's like reading a book and missing out the the, how, the middle the bit in the middle would make yeah. more sense with it. So I think I think we've covered a plenty amount of uh, standalone topics here. Yeah. So. If this would be a small playlist, like uh, <laughs> part one, part two, etc. So this oh, might be Yeah, made. yeah. If the viewers want little small sections of each topic, we can do that. So uh, yeah, no, um, uh, stay on the line after and we'll just round up. But um, just for this video, I'd like to just, well, uh, we just want to say thank you to everybody who's watched, don't we? Uh, absolutely. So guys, uh, like, uh, Hello to yeah. hello and goodbye to Dr. Fox <laughs> community. So. Yeah, and CMK, Code Mickey King. Thank you to all the CMK viewers. <laughs>